Today, <laughs> Chief Spence has asked me to read her statement. Today is the 20th day of my hunger strike, and I give thanks to the Creator for allowing me to see this day. I acknowledge all the prayers and the support I have received by both Indigenous and non-Indigenous peoples, both in Canada and worldwide. I am deeply humbled. I would also like to acknowledge all the helpers here who continue to do their best to look after me. And I know that deep within their hearts that they are continuing to praying for me as well. In reflection, we are the original inhabitants and stewards of our land. When European explorers came to our land, they were seeking economic advantage, advantages or escaping conditions of poverty in Europe. Our ancestors welcomed them and the bounty entrusted to us by Mother Earth. In exchange for the graciousness of our forefathers, when we entered into treaties, we were relegated to living in small, desolate tracts of land called reserves. <coughs> and were also made wards of the state through the statutes contained in the Indian Act. Modern governments have encouraged the process of segregation by in introducing numerous legislative statutes to restrict and remove any say from our communities over our traditional lands that were used by our forefathers. Modern governments have actively engaged in a process to isolate our political leadership by introducing mechanisms that do not recognize our government structures and actively introduce and seek a means of controlling what is said by our leadership and they further means to remove our access to our traditional lands. This will not happen without a fight from our people, and now is the appropriate time to call for unity. This is a call to arms, and a call to action in the most peaceful and respectful way that reflects our natural laws as indigenous nations. First Nations leadership need to take charge and control of the situation on behalf of the grassroots movement. We need to reignite that nation-to-nation -nation relationship based on our inherent and constitutionally protected rights as a sovereign nation. We are demanding our rightful place back here in our <coughs> homelands that we call Canada. I radiate that simple message that I am asking for. I call upon Her Majesty the Queen to fulfill her fiduciary responsibilities that they undertook when they signed their original treaties with our, with our people and for the Crown to come to the table along with the Prime Minister of Canada to have a meaningful dialogue about restoring the respect of the political and economic relationships with our people. The Creator put us here for a reason. The Creator wants us to love and respect each other. The Creator wants us to work together here on Mother Earth. I know that some non-Aboriginal citizens may not understand this statement but through education and in the spirit of love, hope, and prosperity for all, we can achieve this. Thank you all for the love and support you have shown, and thank you for your continued prayers. Miigwech. Thank you. 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 Thank you.